you know, you know, I thought, hey, maybe there will be, you know, some hope. Maybe there will be something good. But that is not the case when you talk about the American Arena League. Not the case at all. First off, there has been a lot going on. I'm pretty sure there's even more going on behind the scenes, of course, because this is arena slash indoor football. A lot of shady stuff goes on, and a lot of behind the scenes goes on as well. So when I found out about this Texas Alliance Arena League, I was very much not even surprised. Um, Now, this was supposed to be an AAL West type thing to where you know there was going to be teams out in Texas and stuff like that but obviously that doesn't really work out because of how regional you know the arena leagues are now so so teams that were supposed to be in the AL West or whatever it's supposed to be called are now in their own league well two of them anyway and they joined two more the Fort Worth Blaze and the Lone Star Bisons, who I had previously never even heard of. And then we're talking about, you know, the Dallas Vipers and the Mid-City Gunslingers also. So, uh, speaking of teams that are out in Texas that are in the AAL right now, there is supposed to be an exhibition going on in, like, January or February or something like that. It should be on the thumbnail, of course, but somehow... There's a San Antonio team, there's an El Paso team, which was supposed to be West Texas Buccaneers. Um, I don't know how that's going to work out, it's just an exhibition in like January, so it doesn't really mean anything, and right now, you know, things are still uncertain. And then, the most strange thing, we have the Allen Tiger Cats, who I believe they play in like, I believe their arena is in like Richardson, Texas or something like that. I don't know. I don't really care where their arena is because they'll be probably playing like, you know, four or five games a season anyway because that's just how the AL is. But somehow they signed a deal with Phenom to make, you know, their jerseys and stuff like that, you know, their merchandise. Well, not really their merchandise, but, you know, their equipment and stuff. I don't know how they got that deal. And it's pretty crazy. Speaking of the AL, anyway, um, as we jump off a cliff into that, you know, um, I do believe that there are some teams that should not be in the AL. I'm mostly talking about West Michigan, um, and maybe the Indianapolis Enforcers. Um, but other than that, okay, maybe the maybe the Charlotte Thunder, as they're called now, maybe them too, um, probably shouldn't be in this league at all. And they're the only ones that really, well, Western Michigan's probably the only one that looks, that has, you know, a history with a better league. These other, the other two that I mentioned, you know, don't really mean anything. But, yeah, so the Texas Alliance Arena thing, Arena League is a thing. Um, I'm sure it would be a low, even lower level. You know, four teams is not a good sign already when you start a league. Because usually when, you know, when 14 leagues start, you know, things get kind of crazy. Remember the um, American West Football Conference? You know, I'm going to talk about them in another video. Uh, but the AAL, you know, right now, I don't know how many teams. I don't know who these teams are. There's 16 teams that they claim are in the league right now. There's five more that, that, that claim to be, you know, interested and ready to go. So I don't know if there's going to be 21 teams or not. We might, you might as well say there's not going to be 21 teams. It, it's just fact at this point because of the AL. Things are not as they seem. And, you know, going back to that whole um, video I did about a few days ago or a week ago or something like that where it talked about, you know, the, um, the COVID league. I think those teams should split off form their own league it'll, 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 it'll be like a 14 league anyway you know but I mean again 14 leagues have a problem and 
because there's just not enough there. There's not enough meat on the bones to really salvage anything with four teams in the league. And we all saw how um, the Arena Football League did with four teams, you know, a couple years back, and it did not. It did not go well. Remember how Washington won the championship at two and ten? Does not go well. But at the same time, you know, I think there should be some splits. There should be some teams, you know, going off and you know returning to you know, other leagues, trying to get into other leagues. Um, I mean, sure, the NAL is hurting. It's hurting hard right now, hurting very much so. But if you if you take the Charlotte Thunder, yeah, that's what they're called, the Charlotte Thunder. I already forgot their name. That's how forgettable they are, because they have you know guys backing, as far as the website says, you know, Ted Gibbs backing it. I think. Um, I don't know, the website has been updated. The websites for the American Arena League, the teams, and the league website have been updated in months anyway. And things that are on the site have, like, they spelled Pennsylvania wrong on the, on the website. How do you spell that wrong? You know, it's pretty much common sense at this point. You should know how to spell Pennsylvania. Whoever's, whoever's the intern or something like that, the intern that gets paid zero dollars. Only gets a free cupcake for his troubles. Fix that. You gotta fix that. I mean, the AL is very, very low level anyway, and there's even more trash below that. But at the same time, I think it, it's about time we somebody has to step up and say something. You know, somebody has to get this league. You know. Give it some integrity if, if, if it wants to survive. It cannot be arena football is not stable already as it is. If you want to survive, then you got to do something better. You can't have teams full mid season. You can't have teams play on like two games a season. You can't have stuff like this happen where oh, but we're interested, but uh, yeah, we're gonna start our own thing. You can't have that can't have it it's just not just not the way it's supposed to be so that's my little ramble on things remember to like share comment subscribe do all that good stuff and yeah the AL is still a dumpster fire but it's our dumpster fire to bash on so see y'all later